Two weeks ago, long before the reveal of Cold War Zombies, there was a major leak about details about the upcoming game posted on the COD Zombies Reddit. Now at the time, as with all leaks, they should usually be taken with a grain of salt. You don't really know whether they're true or not. Nothing had been officially revealed yet, so there was no way to confirm whether the contents of the leaks were true or not until now. Since the reveal has come out, the contents of that leak have proven to be accurate. So while it's extremely interesting to see what exactly the leaks got right about the game, now what I'm more interested in, since the credibility of the leak seems to have been confirmed, is what the leak says is in the game, but that we haven't been shown from the reveal trailer. So that's what we're going to cover in this video guys. If you do want to see a link to the original leak, it's in the description. Or if you want to see a list of things from the original leak that had been confirmed, since we're not really going to be talking about that in this video, Reddit user Jacob2815 made an awesome post on Reddit detailing some of that, so you can check that out in the description description as well but let's start off with our first piece of unreleased information and that being according to the leak there'll be three maps to be able to play when the game comes out one of which we already know about that being D Machina the second of which has been consistently alluded to and teased that being Firebase Z that's the zombies map set during the Vietnam War with the third being quote a normal survival map variant of the Nacht that appears in D Machina so essentially just Nacht der Untoten from Call of Duty World at War but with the stylized changes like it appears in D Machina but probably with just a bunch of the map closed off so you can't just go running around the whole area I really dig the idea of including just a really small kind of one-off map within the base game. COD WW2 did that in the form of Grosten House, if you guys remember, and that was a fan favorite just because it was action-packed right off the bat. So if this is indeed true, I think this is a good call from Treyarch's part. Next up, we have part of the leaks that I think are the most interesting, but also the most shaky in terms of their credibility, just because the contents of the leak that it's talking about are so far down the line, where they detail some of the specifics of the DLC maps coming to Cold War Zombies, the first of which is a map set in Berlin, which the leaker theorizes could possibly be a Kino Der Toten remake. But just like with Nocturne and Toten in Der Machina, it would just be a part of the map and the actual map would be heavily expanded from the original. And he also mentions another codename within the game files, referencing the giant. Now if you guys have watched my previous two videos on Cold War Zombies, you, you'll know that this news doesn't make me very happy. While I'm a big fan of these classic maps, we've been seeing remasters and remakes and expanded areas of classic maps all throughout Black Ops 4. It didn't work then to pique people's interest. I really hope Treyarch isn't going the exact same route once again that would be really really sad and disappointing from a creative standpoint but of course the leaker is only theorizing here about the details of this berlin map but it's definitely wedged some fear in the back of my mind that Treyarch's gonna first and ten let's do it again black ops 4 round 2 electric boogaloo this game and that's just something Next up, Transit, Transit, Transit. Since the reveal of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, there's always been discussions that a remake or remaster Hallelujah of Transit might be in the game. And while some details of whether or not that's true have been spotty and all over the place, this leaker is claiming flat out that Transit will not be there at launch. Next up, we have the evolution of the perk system. So there's a bunch of perks here that we've already seen footage of that are confirmed to be in the game, like Deadshot, Quick Revive, Juggernaug, and Speed Cola. But there's two here that haven't been mentioned yet, that being Stamina Up and a new perk they're calling Elemental Pop. Furthermore, the leaker here is claiming that these perks are now upgradable. They can be upgraded up to four times, enhancing their effects, I think that's another really interesting mechanic. Again, it just gives you stuff to spend your points on during a long zombies game. It'll be interesting to see if these six perks are the only six perks on D Machina or if there's gonna be more perks on the map. Either way, they have removed the perk limit from the game, meaning you can get as many of them as you want during your play session. Next up, the leaker says that specialist weapons are returning. We know that's true. Treyarch is now branding them as field upgrades, with Treyarch themselves describing some of these abilities as aiding in evasion or healing and reviving. 
we get some names of these abilities according to the leak that we can kind of put to the descriptions that Treyarch gave us with healing aura obviously being related to healing or reviving frost blast I can see working very similar to how the upgraded version of winner's whale worked from black ops 4 then we have ether shroud and energy bind of which their effects aren't readily apparent but sound interesting nonetheless next up we have some info about pack-a-punch of which they're saying that in Demachina, pack-a-punch is a buildable and the double pap abilities are returning to the game so there is kind of that standard pack-a-punch system that was introduced in black ops 3 expanded in black ops 4 it seems like it'll stay very similar here in cold war next up we have a detail that i find very interesting but is kind of confusing and i think the leaker was kind of confused about what exactly this feature is as well in his description where he says that there's going to be something called the ether scope where he describes it as, at certain points, it'll show you flashbacks of the ether. Kind of like in-game cutscenes, it's like the weird red flashing stuff we see in the teaser. Of course, if you weren't aware, the storyline for Cold War Zombies, while being based around some of the lore in the Aether universe, isn't actually an Aether storyline like we've been used to seeing Victus, Primus, and Ultimus all those characters aren't in this game but they may be referenced in some of the maps and like this leaker's claiming we might be seeing flashbacks to that original ether storyline that would help explain what exactly is going on in this quote-unquote dark ether storyline of cold war zombies but again this ether scope mechanic is still kind of vague and we don't exactly know how it'll tie into gameplay while you're playing around with zombies next up a quick one but a interesting one at that where he says that there might be alternate endings on D Machina, which sounds extremely interesting. I'm not sure how though attempts to carry on a coherent story throughout the DLC if there is alternate endings but but if there is in fact alternate endings it'll create some variety in the way you're able to do easter eggs on these new maps making them more replayable which is always a good thing lastly the leaker talks about something that I'm really really personally interested in to keep me coming back and playing this game he says quote there's references to loot in the game as rewards now we know that Treyarch is making zombies as part of their cross mode initiative in which all the modes in the game are connected under the same account so you can rank up your multiplayer account while you're playing zombies and vice versa and things like that so it'll be interesting to see if there's any zombie specific items that we're able to get and unlock by playing the game and or if there's any cosmetic options or of course the dreaded microtransaction system that hasn't been revealed yet but just how extensive this loot system is as it relates to zombies hasn't been revealed yet watch it just be like xp or something right but that's all of the most interesting parts of the leak that haven't actually been revealed yet there's a lot of stuff in there to kind of unpack and i think we'll be doing that as time progresses here before the game comes out but i want to thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below subscribe to the channel if you haven't already a huge shout out to everybody in the notification squad you guys are the real deal but i want to thank you once again for watching I'll see you with another Zombies News video very soon. Peace.